Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel and today we're back with more cash game action playing 1-2 with a $200 bind. Uh, Cut off opens here, defend jack 10 suited, can 3 bet this as well out of the big blind, decide just to call. We flop a gutter, backdoor spades. So bet's about 40% pot, go ahead and call here. And then bank the turn, so we turn the straight with the flush redraw. Pretty fun one here. The question is, do we raise or just call here? Uh, let's see. Pretty wet board. I'm just going to go ahead and call here. It's maybe a mistake. And then interesting river. So it improves us to a flush. If anything, I prefer a brick though. So let's just have the nuts. With that said, the ace of spades is a good one. As we do have the second nut flush. It's just the king high flush would beat us now. So then I do think we get to go for the check jam on the river here. So going for a nice little value jam. Hopefully a river to weaker flush. And we see the full jack time takes it down. So I've raised ace five suited. Small one flats off a short stack. Decides to leave for half pot, go for the call. And then turn two pair, which is interesting because it does bring the four liner. Uh, if they check here, especially the shorter stacked up, I think we can very clearly go for value. And if they bet, I guess we'll just call and just hope for no spade or four. Spade not ideal, but I think we'd still be calling down here against the short stacker and just hope that they're doing enough random stuff here. So yeah, they have the eight seven and we're good. Two pair with a diamond. I guess I'm probably supposed to call here, but this is an interesting river. So just like I have King Jack here, I could definitely have King Queen. So I think I might actually use this one as a bluff. I'd have to hope he folds all his flushes here. He's not going to have many two pairs or sets here, actually. So I actually have way more than nutted hands. So yeah, I'm actually going to turn this one into a bluff here. Just because like I don't think he has any full houses check raising turn, but I definitely do in this line. So I'm going to try and make him full of flush here. If he doesn't full his flushes, it ends up becoming a bad bluff, but... I think we're going to. I'm not 100% sure I like the turn call, but if I do and then face the bet here on the river, I think I like this. So if he still, he might still call the ace high flush, but if I see him calling like weaker flushes, I don't like this bluff as much because that's what I'm trying to get to fold. So we do see the fold there, take it down. All right, so I'm going to size up here. This player only three bets 1% of hands. So I'm going to use a pretty big four bet size in position. So the player's styling 35 and one. So when they three bet, it feels like a pretty narrow range. So they decide to call 10-9-5. Hopefully this has like, honestly with the stat line, they could still have kings in here. <laughs> I'll decide just to flat free. Decides to lead for 46. So we block their ace king. And I don't want a bad card to come for, I'm trying to think if I ever jam this. Uh, I just assume they always have an over pair. They might actually fold though. Okay, I'm just going to call here. This is kind of the problem here. So they have queens or jacks. They at least have a gut shot now though. He's so tilting if he just has kings. Ace, ace king. All right, sweet, nice. All right, so he did have ace king. Good thing we just called and uh, we end up being good. Squeeze king queen over here. Cut off opens, button flats. So we go for the squeeze. A little bit wide, but see a call from the cutoff and flop pretty well. So queen seven six, start with a small bet. The flop top pair. Jack of diamonds turn. We go ahead and find a turn check. And as played, river, go for the block. So probably splitting between block and jam. So we are going to go block here. As we play this, I would probably call if he jams river. So yeah, I'm not like super pumped about it, but this is one of our better hands that takes this line, I think. It shows the aces. Ah, nice hand there. 8-7 suited here. This goes button open. We threw about the small blinds. Get called about three quarters in the flop. So we've got a gutter with the backdoor hearts. And then hit an eight on the turn. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and check turn to probably set up for check call. Now, when we bet three quarters on the flop, it does narrow his range a bit. So I don't really necessarily love check calling the eight seven, but I think we do. And then we'd still call down on like a nine or an eight. So yeah, that's a small call. And then, so yeah, queen makes a straight, but as this one's in play, definitely calling. Nine of diamonds would be kind of a tricky card, but the loan of the straight here would definitely be a call. Hopefully it just doesn't have a queen. <laughs> and unfortunately it does have the queen. That's <laughs> tilting. All right, so low end of the straight for us, high end of the straight for them on the four liner. 
and we call it off. No good. Over here at the ace queen, three bet preflop, get called, bet flop, call, bet turn here. So I don't think he's gonna have two three in range, so not worried about that. Uh, seven river, I think we still just jam this for values. We played it probably about as thin as I'd go to the ace jack, I'd probably check on either turn or river. But ace queen, we're still gonna go for value here. So go for the value jam. So this is probably the bottom of my value betting range. It goes bet, bet, bet here. Going way in the tank here. And that just calls ace jack. Ace queen is good. So we lose a bind, then get one right back. So we threw an ace queen call. I'm gonna go for 10% here on the flop. So we got an ace and we got the queen of hearts. Uh, let's see what I want to do on the turn. I think we just continue betting for value. If I had no heart here, maybe consider checking. Even though we only went 10% flop, they jam. So this doesn't feel very good, but with the Queen of Hearts, I think it's going to be a call. And it's 7 6 for two pairs. So we got 36% still, and we do drill the ace on the river. Nice. All right. So get in behind, but we do get there. So raise 10s here against the limp. We'll check here. 5 4 2. Uh, against pot size, I'm going to go ahead and check 10s to be willing to go with. I think this is okay. Or check raise tens. So calls. I think we're in a jam here. So I'm gonna be targeting like the flush draws, the gutters with like ace x, and then like pocket nines, eight, seven, sixes. And snaps it off. Ace four. Oh, they turned the trips. That's so painful. Oh, that's like the one four we're mostly worried about. I think the tens jam's fine there. Here with fives, I'm going to be opening, get called, and we'll raise the flop when this player leads for two with the bottom set. Calls eight on the turn. Hopefully they have an eight. <laughs> that would be incredible here. So I'm going to go for another raise here. Hopefully their draws still continue to, I mean, could consider just flatting, but I think I want to raise here and then like I'm just going to 2x pot jam the river. Player never gonna fold an eight, nor really should they here, but we jam it all in. Pretty good route to get paid by an eight here. Call. And eventually does call. Jack nine calls with the jack there, and we're good. Aces over here, so underground opens, we three bets to get called. The good thing is we do block two ace jack suited, which is nice. I don't expect them to have ace jack off suit in range here. Um, do get raised. So I think we're just gonna jam this in with aces, targeting like their straight draws and their club draws, because a lot of times if they have those, they're just gonna check back turn. So yeah, sometimes we just run in the jack and feel dumb, but if we wanna make from out of position, make their clubs and their straight draws call it off, or just like fold sometimes, even just like folding out the equities again. They're gonna just check back the turn a lot of times on the clubs, probably. Or the gutters, so. Anyways, we jam it in there and take it down the aces. So we raise hijack versus cutoff. Uh, with the cold caller, I think I mostly prefer four bet here to willing to go with. These are spots where people have been jamming. I've usually, against in position three bets, I've been going smaller just because the size is usually smaller, but this player ends up going call, call. So if they check me, I'm just going to go for 10%. They just jam. So if there's a flush drop there to consider calling, I think. We'll just call all the ace axe and then fold anything else here and there's no flush draw. It'd have to be a completely random bluff here. So we'll just let go of the jacks. So we have cutoff open here, three at the aces. See the call, 10, 10, 7, go for the bet here. And then turn king, I'm gonna go small in the turn. So I'm still gonna try to go for three streets here on this run out, I think, on good rivers. That's gonna be a good one. So yeah, sometimes obviously we run into it, but we do block one of the ace 10 suits, which is nice. So I'm gonna jam the river here. Do block some ace king, which makes it tough, but hopefully they have like king queen, king jack suit that back to our flush side to call, but we jam the river, see the fold. Go for the open big line calls, top set, nice. All right, so this board here and do a lot of small C betting, we'll do it here. It's raised, oh my gosh, top set in a rainbow board. Just don't bring in any straight draws. So we just call here, eight of clubs turn. We even have a club, which is good if any flush draw is gonna turn. They pot it, we're just gonna call. Hopefully they just have like 
pocket fours or ace four here. We're just about to win all the money. Uh, King River. Hopefully not ace four because now they would have got counterfeit. I guess they could have ace king too. Just calling the big blind pre. Um, in this line, it does. I feel like they're going to call a lot of the same sizes. So I'm just going to jam here for 2x pot against this player, hoping that they call the fours full. And they snap call king four. Oh my gosh, they rode a full house. Even better, the ace is full, boat over boat. Open, min three bet here. As long as the big blind doesn't four bet, I'm just going to flap this probably. So we'll take the flop, bottom pair, back to our spades. And bets for $2, we'll just call this, take the turn. Pretty cool turn card here. So we pick up the gutter, the flush draw. Uh, I'm going to raise here to hope they get some folds. And then if they call, we can obviously improve on the river. I'm probably going to give up. Uh, they min click it. Okay, so we're still getting a good enough price here. So we'll just call for spade. Mostly what we're looking for. Spade will do. All right, so we river the nuts here. 82 in the middle, we got 192 back. So if I get checked to, normally I go three quarters. I think against this player, I would probably go bigger. And then if they pot it, we just very easily jam this river. Hopefully, I just have Ace King playing it this way and decide to call down, or they have a weaker flush. I think if this player has Ace King, they're not going to fold when I jam. So we're going to go all in. And it does call as pocket fives. Let's go. Ace four is good. Ace two suit over here. Button opens. We defend. Bets pots. Over bets turn, which is completely reasonable. And ten of spades over check. Be folding here if they jam. These are spots I've been meaning to get a little bit better at when we face like big aggression on like overbet turns, overbet rivers. Like how light am I supposed to be calling down? I'm pretty confident we don't call that one, but Alright, so open call call player. 16. I'm actually gonna call against a smaller size here as the hand that can play pretty well multi-way post-flop. So normally I would do a lot of flatty, but we're getting a pretty good price here, and I don't expect any of these players raised behind, but they might get in here. This is where it gets kind of tricky. So we do flop top pair, top kicker, which is good. Got the backdoor hearts. So this player bats we're gonna call. And then eight of spades on the turn. We go three ways of the turn. This is where it gets a little bit tricky. So this is a pretty wet board. I'm trying to think if I ever bet here. The problem is they can have over pairs. So I'm gonna check even though there's a lot of bad rivers. So that's a very good river. So they can still have the over pairs. Assuming they don't go like a crazy size here, we're probably calling and just hoping they find plus enough. If it checks to me, I'm actually probably gonna make a really nitty check down. This does feel like I lose a lot here, but I'm gonna go ahead and call getting four to one. Hoping they're bluffing just enough. This does feel like the over pair a decent amount of time though. But again, we're getting a pretty good price. This player jams, so now we're out. Actually, it would be a six spot if player were bluffing here, because then I think they're gonna get Ant to fold the over pairs. Uh, Jack nine for the straight of the flush redraw. Cutoff opens, three about the ace queen of clubs. And see the call. Queen two, two, two diamonds and a club out there. And checks to me, you go for a small bet. Check raised. All right, so just gonna call here. Horrible turn card. <laughs> it's a board that's hard to have a lot of bluffs besides diamonds on. So I'm curious if I ever actually just straight up fold this turn. Feels pretty nitty. I, mean, I guess I, have to, I can hope that he's finding some like he's three ace four he's five stuff uh so again small size i'm still gonna call one more but i'm gonna fold river if they jam and it's not a queen turn size probably depends too so if they bet much bigger i might have folded and then we'll fold rivers played and back over to the opener so three bet call and jack six five go for a bet here on rainbow so bet call uh four turn i'm gonna go ahead and check here river the queen nice and go for the value bet on the end Ugh. i was gonna say don't jam don't jam um i get a little bit worried if i fold this i am folding a ton i mean i could check queen jack on the turn i got a pocket queens uh, queens wants to bet the turn probably a lot Outside of Queen Jack, if I fold this, it feels like I'm folding everything, which is a bit concerning. Um, gotta hope they're what? Turning maybe sevens or eights into a bluff? 
All right, I'm gonna fold for the time being. I get a little worried I'm overfolding if I fold that though. All right, YouTube, that wraps up our session here today. And we book a very small win, plus $12 on the tables, 2,806 hands over seven hours. They get about $400 worth of rake back between the rake back chest and a deposit bonus. So still pick up $400 or two buy-ins there. So hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.